السلام عليكم uh, I want to talk today about uh, the, this course which is the special concrete concrete construction special inspector uh, this book uh, the minute you look at it it's frightening uh, even I was frightened when I looked at it uh, but uh, if I can explain it to you maybe it will become a little bit uh, less uh, frightening. Now, uh, ACI uh, teaches uh, civil engineers and non-civil engineers or technicians. This particular course uh, is done for people who are work as site engineers. Now, the word site engineer has two directions. He can be actually a civil engineer and he is on site, or he can be a non-civil engineer and he's on site okay now up to now most of the guys that are recommended to take this course have been actual civil engineers and they are also uh, inspective on site and many of them are not even inspective on site but they are civil engineers because this is also by the way excellent for a design engineer uh, because uh, he knows uh, uh, what things when he is designing that the uh, site engineer will not reject. So, so what you see here is you see uh, many divisions in this uh, manual. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, 40, 15, 16 divisions. And if you look at any division, you find that this division has a, a specific subject. For example, if I open uh, uh, this section, it says uh, light, lightweight aggregate. So it's a section that talks about uh, material aggregates and so on. If I look at this section, it's specification for structure. This section for floors and slabs. This one for hot weather concreting. This one for pumping concrete. This one uh, for measurement, mix, and etc. So each section here, discusses a subject so this one for you if you are on site and you have this in front of you whenever you have a few minutes of free time if they give you free time uh, you can uh, read something here or if you have a problem with pumping then you can go to pumping if you have a problem with uh, uh, consolidation you can come here vibration you come here hot weather you can come here so this is like it reference dictionary for a civil engineer who is uh, uh, who is on site now in order for uh, people to take this course uh, you will need to take the field testing technician grade one which i normally conduct uh, on thursdays uh, every thursday from five o'clock to eight o'clock and then friday uh, from two o'clock to six seven o'clock and then Saturday from nine in the morning until we finish. And uh, that field testing technician, which is covered every week, is the only standard course that is covered every week. Now, other courses like this, okay, I have, uh, I need at least two weekends. So at least I need Friday, Saturday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday twice for somebody who is really qualified. If you are a little bit less qualified and you need time to read, so what I will do is I will give you Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then I will give you one, two, three weeks for you to read, then you can come back and we can discuss how well you know, and then when you are uh, a little bit confident, we give you another session of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and on Saturday we'll give you the exam. The exam of this book is, uh, uh, the, the exam of this course is uh, two parts. One part which is drawing reading, where you would look at the drawing and know the steel distribution and all that, they will ask you about it. And there is not much to study about that, except that hopefully you know how to read uh, an engineering drawing. Uh, that one is 20 questions only. Then there is 80 questions on this document. And it's an open book exam, and it's about three and a half, four hours exam. So if you get a question on, 
uh, on uh, tolerance, you will go to the tolerance section. If you got a question on um, hot weather, you go to hot weather section. So what is required of you is to look at this document and mark everything inside the document that you think they may ask you about. So you have to be clever. So you look at the document and you read, you read, you read, you read, all that is information. Then you read something which says, for example, the vibrator has to be so many horsepower. Aha, this they can ask me the question. Or the maximum temperature is X. Or this or that. So you can, by reading this, uh, uh, put yourself in the position of the examiner and say, ah, this is a good possibility of a question. So you will mark it and leave it there. When the exam comes, you get a question on hot weather, you open hot weather. And the question is on temperature of hot weather, you go to the temperature section and you will easily find uh, that answer. So I uh, advise uh, uh, all uh, civil engineers, whether they are in design or they are in uh, inspection, okay, to look very seriously at this uh, manual. This is called CP21 pack. CP21 pack, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and this is a good reference uh, for, uh, uh, for you. And uh, if you pass this exam and you become a special concrete construction inspector, uh, then I think it will help you in your future career and in your current career. Thank you.